What role do you think that the letters are going to play in your father's legacy? I don't know that it will play a great role in his literary legacy, but I think it will make him much more accessible. I mean, I think we all, when we read a, a, a really fine work of fiction, we're always interested in the author because we think, how did this man gain the insights and the uh, knowledge to write so well? There must be something about him that's interesting for himself or herself alone. And the letters of Hemingway will supply them with all, all the information they want uh, as to why he wrote the way he did and, and the insights that he had and his abilities. What has working with Sandy been like? A very pleasant surprise. Basically, I don't like literary scholars at all. <laughs> and I have to say that all of my initial instincts about having to deal with a literary scholar turned out to be wrong. And so I'm very grateful. And I think she's done her profession a great service as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> well, I'd like to add that I'm very grateful to, to um, Cambridge University Press for taking up this project, which is, I'm sure, not going to make their fortune, and which is really something that an American press should have taken up, American University Press. I think it's shocking that Harvard or Yale or Princeton or University of Pennsylvania or Pennsylvania State or any American academic press. I mean, to me, that is a real shocker. And uh, I'm, I'm very grateful to the Cambridge University Press. And personally, I have always admired Cambridge University because I think that there's no comparison between Oxford and Cambridge myself. I think, uh, I don't know, I just, if, if you want, if I had a child and they wanted to go to a university, I'd say Cambridge was the best they could do.